Okay, let's go crude. So what we just went over, the hardest part about the markets is deciphering whether we are in a chop or range market. Now these trend boxes, the beautiful thing about them is they are color-coded green for uptrends, red for downtrends. And what we do with the trend boxes, these boxes are being formed off of a very large Rinko bar. This is actually a 25 Rinko bar projected on a 9 Rinko bar for trend. So when these boxes turn green or red, it's actually projected off of a very large time frame. So when you see them green, that typically means that you are in trend and that direction is up. If it's red, trend direction is down. Now, more importantly, what I just went over in the room, that's why I'm doing this video, is the width of the boxes. The beautiful thing about the trend boxes and why I like them the most is the width of the boxes. The width of the boxes tell you two things. The markets aren't very hard to understand if you break them down into easy, in an easy concept. They're, they can only do two things. They can trend, which is go vertical, or they can chop and go sideways. So it doesn't matter what you trade, futures, stocks, ETFs, doesn't matter what it, whatever it is, currency, Forex. That's the only two things market can do. It's not very hard to understand. We're either going to trend, you're going to trend up or down, meaning go vertical, or you're going to go chop or sideways. And that's a very important concept to understand because if you can get the direction right, it shows you how to trade these markets. So let's look how we trade both markets real quick to make sure we're on the same page. I'll make sure I get a big arrow for you guys so you can see it. See where I'm pointing at. All right, so this is trend, trend down. Okay, that's trend down, trend down. All green, I mean all red down, all green up. All right, sideways, sideways, then we trend up. Now today we're in chop again. Now let me show you, so this is chop, trend up, trend up, trend down. Let me show you how the width of the boxes are very, very important to me. And this is something that should really resonate at home with you guys and gals. So we know the markets can only do th two things. They can only trend or they can chop. And that's all they can do. So when I built this trend box, I wanted something to show me not only when the speed is coming in the market, because as traders, we need speed. If we don't have volatil volatility as traders, it's hard to trade any type of market. If the market's just flat sideways, it's untradeable. So what we need to do is we need to find when we're in trend, and we also need to know when we're in chop so we don't buy and sell retracements. Because in trend, you want to buy and sell retracements with the trend box using my oscillator at the bottom. In chop, we do not want to buy and sell retracements with the trend box. We just want to trade market profile until we break out again. Well, how do you know when you're in trend and how do you know when you're in chop? Here's a beauty thing about the trend box. What the trend box does is the width of the bar is key. And I want to make sure this resonates home with you guys and you guys can understand this. Width of the trend box is key. Why? Let me show you. This is all week of trading, the entire session. And it really smacks you in the head of knowing what is trend and what is chop. Let's go over here. Let's take a look at this on the 19th. If you get a big white box, big red box, big green box, two things. That's either a reversal that's in place or that's a consolidation of range in the market, meaning we're going sideways. It's either going to be a sideways top, sideways reversal bottom, or it's a consolidation before continuation. So how do we, how do we know when the market gets back into trend? This is key right here. Look how, look how big the box is. And look at the next bar. Look how thin that next bar is. Look how thin that bar is. Take a look at it. That thin bar, that printed, 
after it closes, tells you you went from a wide box, meaning con a consolidation or possible top reversal, into a thin width box. The thin width box, since I have a tr many trend filters built into the Rinko bar already in the trend box, it tells you there's speed coming in the market. And when there's speed coming in the market, you're now in a tradable retrace retracement market. This is now the hottest time to be buying and selling on a retracement. And that's what we need to do. We need to watch for big, thick boxes that are consolidation. And when these thin boxes print, it tells you that first retracement right here should be a nice move in the market. This retrace, all these retracements on the oscillator below, these retracements on any small time frame too. So that small box, that width of that box, after a big consolidation reversal box, started this big trend. Okay, let's take a look at the next day. The next day we had a big giant green box on the 20th. Followed by the green box, we got that thin box that printed. What does that tell us? There's a path of no resistance above us. There's speed in the market. That's called a speed box in the room. So that tells us and that educates us as traders that we have a possible big move to the upside. So what do we want to do? We want to start buying retracements off our smaller time frames with our oscillator below. We want to buy retracements with trend direction up. And as you can tell, we had a big move up. Then we come into like we have today, we have big thick boxes. Big red, big green, big red, big red, big green. What does this tell us? This now tells us that we are what? We are sideways and chop. This type of market is not tradable on retracements. It's very hard to trade retracements and chop. So how can we benefit this knowledge as traders? We know we want to stay away from retracement trading with the trend boxes, but we can trade market profile. This is when my market profile comes in key. Since 1985, if you look at market profile, the best time to trade market profile inside the edges from HVA to LVA is in chopper range markets. You can sell the high, buy the low on the first and second test of market profile, and market profile should reverse the markets in flat markets. So now the trend box tells us what? If I'm flat or sideways, I can trade market profile. Okay? So let's go the next day. Next day we have a big green box. Big green box. This is Thursday. Big green box. This is yesterday. After the green box prints, I got a thin box that printed. Real thin width box. What does that tell us? Now we're breaking out of consolidation. Consolidation has been uh, since uh, after, uh, Wednesday afternoon all the way to 8 o'clock, almost 8 o'clock in the morning from yesterday, and then we broke out. Now we're going into what? We're going into a thin box. The thin box educates us that we are going into speed in the market and to buy retracements. The 5 and 3 sim gave us dynamic entries yesterday for this big move up. And that brings us to today. Today, let's look at the big box. We've got one big box in the whole session. Look at this big box. Look how big that big. It hasn't even stopped printing yet. What does this tell us? We're in consolidation, right? Or we're in a possible range market. So if we're in range markets, we need to see what? We need to see this. what happened yesterday right here. We need... You see this thin box print, thin box print, so we can do what? So we can try to pop in a retracement at our smaller time frames like this. We want to try to get in and buy that market when they're trying to mark the market up. So that's a unique thing about the trend boxes. It's not just because they're pretty colors of red and green because it's off a larger time frame. We take it a step further. The width of the boxes are extremely important because I got these trend filters already built into the trend box. So now traders can decipher whether we're in range or chop because the market can only do two things. We can either trend or we can chop. And don't make it any more difficult than that. These are electronically traded markets. We're either going to trend or we're going to chop. So if I'm in a downtrend, right, if I'm in a downtrend, then I want to what? I want to be a net seller on the trend boxes. If I'm in an uptrend, what do you want to do? I want to be what? I want to be a net buyer on retracements. All right? If I'm sideways and chop, we'll put this as neutral. We'll put this as, as white. Then we're neutral. We don't want to buy and sell retracements. Then we go back into vertical. We go back into a trend market up. So our bias is up. 
not hard to understand with these trend boxes. Now we're back into what? We're back into neutral stance in the market. And now we're back into a sideways chop range market where you can only trade market profile. Get a speed box. So once we get a speed box right here, then we start moving again. Once you get a speed box right here, then we start moving again. Once we get a speed box right there, then we start moving again. So that's my point is that concentrate on the width of the boxes. They're very important. Okay.